decision based on that information. All right. Uh, of course, save defaults. That's what, again, because of user condition and the way users behave, this is what's going to be uh, there most of the time. So ensure that whatever defaults you have in your application are actually the ones that you feel uh, are going to present this, the user with a secure, an acceptable security from a user perspective. Now, that is an art more than a science, what actually works and what doesn't. And the problem with that is that you may figure out that a certain set of configuration parameters are actually valid for the the current situation, for the current threat level, and maybe a year from now, you find out that it's not true. So it, it is a challenging problem. Do you create a patch that would change the default uh, settings that you had in your application or not? If you <coughs> sold a router, for example, should you uh, update the firmware and change the settings? Uh, how is that going to play? You need a lot of testing around that. Uh, if you want Sometimes, some, some application, what they do to avoid the whole yes, no, or OK, cancel problem, or users just ignoring that, is they use uh, more than one choice. If you have multiple choice questions, then you have a better chance of having the user actually look at the dialog box and read it and try to sort of uh, figure out what should I do. But not, don't put too many choices, right? Then it w would be uh, the opposite of the, the problem of no choices at all. Uh, Firefox does this, sometimes uh, adding a little delay to the dialog box or to the message enforces, forces the user to really see the message. Now this can be annoying, so you have to figure out how long should I show that message. Uh, with Firefox, for example, when you try to download an add-on, just to make sure, Firefox making sure that you've read what's actually in the dialog, it waits for like three seconds, it grays out the install button for three seconds and lets you install it. So it's not a bad idea as long as you keep it short just to, just to, to force users to read that. Uh, this is a big deal, users' terminology. You know, can't really use certificates and SSL and encryption and uh, all that nonsense that users see in these messages because it makes no difference to them. It doesn't make any sense. So if you were to present the user with a question or a message, whatever it is you're trying to, to say, you have to use the user terminology. Talk about data, talk about protection mechanism, talk about privacy. That's always a concern. Uh, try to avoid the technical uh, jargon or terminology that most users won't really understand. And if you already know the answer, if the user in the last hundred attempts answered no to this question, <laughs> what makes you think he's going to say yes? the next time around. So how about keeping track what the user actually answered? And I'll leave you with this uh, final thought. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd be happy to entertain any questions. Thank you.